So, is it the end of the world? Apparently not. Um, there are some quite instant and applicable solutions that software vendors can implement, and some of them some of them did implement. Actually, some of the major players, such as Microsoft and Google, did implement digital signatures in their updates. Uh, a very, very simple concept. They basically give away the public key uh, in their application, and when the application downloads a new binary, a new update, it simply verified itself um, to make sure it's signed properly. So even if we can tamper with the downloads, we, can, we cannot still push away a binary that's it's not signed by the vendor. So it's, it's a very easy and very fast solution. Of course, there are other solutions that can be made SSL the right way, uh, which means there's a valid verifica, verifi sorry, there's a valid verification, verif uh, there's a valid certificate uh, that's actually designed to be for that host name. And uh, now the SSL, the SSL itself does not need to provide the entire binary transformation because SSL can be only used to transfer the MD5 or the SHA-1 of the actual download. The download can be take place on a clear HTTP. This way, even if we will hijack the session and will push away a different binary, the MD5 has already passed in a secure separate channel, so the application can confirm the MD5 does not match the actual download. So it's, it's a resource consumptive way, um, but it's, it's also applicable. Okay, so um, what's the future for Epon? What's the future for update attack? Well, we actually think the future is quite pink for these guys. Um, first, some ideas for the next version. Um, playing with proprietary update data. We know, although we can always push an executable or a binary or a rootkit and uh, make things interesting from there, we don't actually have to do it uh, on this level. We can simply tamper with application-specific information. Now imagine application such as a friendly firewall downloading a blacklist of IPs. If the black IPs file is not secured, I can tamper with it. I can actually give away uh, IPs of an actual real site, such as Google, and make home, home firewalls block Google. Um, but the most interesting thing that we saw, except again firewalls, snort, and etc., is antivirus walls. Uh, people tend to trust antivirus pop-up box, and they tend to believe that what they say is the truth. So we can actually make an antivirus attack legitimate application. We will just insert uh, a bad signature, and the antivirus will just tell you that this application is no longer legitimate. We can make the antivirus actually come after itself. It will be quite interesting to see it fighting over its own protection and end up having broken DLLs. And we can also make the most funniest things in the world, basically make the antivirus protect the virus from others to be deleted. Um, the hit and run mode is, is also very interesting. We've noticed that some of the applications store some sort of a history of successful updates. Um, you can see there's a list of IPs and URLs. So um, I don't even actually have to walk you or stalk you all the way. It's good enough that we meet in the airport and I attack you. Um, you just happen to check in for an update, your application, and bang, it's recorded my malicious website as a potential download site. You must be familiar with the option of download now, install later. Uh, this is exactly the case. You perform the download in an insecure network and you've installed it later on in your house, but you're actually installing a malware. So uh, it's the hit and run mode. But I think the most interesting thing that we came up with Hippon is that um, whatever Hippon does to you, to your application, to your laptop, you can do it to your friends and etc. Because we're not actually relying on any exploit. We're not relying on anything specific. All you only have to do is have a Wi-Fi connection and a computer. So imagine that we're sitting in a gate in an airport. Each one goes to his own direction. Um, I'm going to attack some of you. Some of you will be getting infected. When you're coming back to your friends, to your office, to your state, um, the malware will do the same thing to your environment. It can actually uh, manifest as an airborne virus. It doesn't need any network. It doesn't require any storage. 
it's simply propagated through searching updates in your area and whatever it's recognized or whatever the update is something Hippo knows how to attack, it will attack and spread forward. So, how about that? Thank you. The EPON project has been released on DEF CON. It's the official announcement. Uh, we are going to maintain a code repository uh, at uh, Google Code Projects. Uh, you're welcome to download it. Um, I don't think we're going to actually supply targets, but we will supply some bug fixes and some of the ideas, maybe improve the 3D graphics a little bit. Uh, I'm going to get to questions in, in a minute. Um, so um, whatever the version you have right now in DEF CON, it's the first version. Um, just check it out for the newer version. Yes, questions? Yes, yes, we have over 100 different applications that uh, we can take down in a minute. Uh, again, he, from, from the vendor perspective, um, it's hard to tell them. It it's makes sense for them to make the update available on the website. So they actually rely on the infrastructure to be secure. They say, hey, your bubble be in your office, in your home network, um, but in a public Wi-Fi such as an airport, McDonald's, coffee shop, they didn't find about that. So. Uh, Yes, most of the most, most of the vendors didn't pursue further to embedded PKI. Oh, fuck you! <laughs> yeah, a any more relevant questions? Um, have we? No, don't think so. Oh, that's that's wonderful. <laughs> that's that's thank thank you very much. <laughs> that, that that's a free tip for you guys. Yes. <laughs> uh, it should, yeah, I think. But uh, as as I said again, you guys got the real hard copy on your CDs, so no tempering with that. But uh, yeah, it will work for both versions. Any more questions? Thank you very much.